Hitler's toilet seat going on auction. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Nice. A uh, toilet seat once used by the world's worst man in history is going up for auction. Adolf Hitler used the toilet seat at his Bavarian retreat before an American soldier took near the end of the Second War. Before the before an American soldier took near the Second World War. Uh, <laughs> so know. there's all these soldiers stealing like Renaissance paintings and shit. And he's like, I got Adolf's toilet seat. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I like to think that it has like a little uh, Adolf's mustache, like shit smear on it. <laughs> That's like that Japanese woman that we heard about who licked uh, all the toilets to try to get a. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Beckham. Yeah, I David Beckham. Yeah. Oof. Get a little taste of that butt. But, uh, <laughs> let's see. This one has the particular salt I was looking for. Now it's being listed by its New Jersey owner for a minimum of $5,000 with the expectation it could go for triple that. Uh, the auction site, which is based in Maryland, said American military police officer Ragnvald Borch. That's a person's name. Ragnvald Borch. Sounds like a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> Was told by his superiors at the retreat at the time that you get what you want as they took control. Uh, Borch reportedly took a First World War armored vest, two paintings, and a toilet. No, he oh did get the God. paintings. Okay, good. Yeah. I was about to write this guy off as a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> but and a to- and the toilet. That's crazy. Uh, when asked why he took why he was taking the toilet, the auction site said Borch replied, "Where do you think Hitler put his ass?" Uh, it apparently had <laughs> <He's right there. laughs> yeah, it, it apparently had been at his house ever since being shipped there on display in the basement. Uh, his son is now selling it. Uh, there is no there are no bids as of Wednesday afternoon, and with the auction set to close on February eighth. Man, I don't know. I figure there's got to be some white supremacist out there somewhere who want it. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. And the, yeah. I'm shitting where he shat. <laughs> How much do you think the uh, toilet seat Elvis died on is worth? Because that's got to be like the most famous toilet seat in history, mm-hmm. right? It's got one of them peanut butter and banana. <laughs> <laughs> You can really smell the banana. You don't want that one. (laughs) Man, do you ever wonder about those guys that collect like a bunch of Nazi memorabilia, but they're like, oh, I'm not a Nazi. I'm just like an aficionado aficionado of, uh, you know, this kind of stuff. Yeah. It's like, yeah, sure you are. Yeah, that's crazy. (laughs) But yeah, I mean, there's people that collect that stuff big time, like... You know, swastikas and, like, Iron Cross type shit. Yeah. Not going to fit into popular culture, (laughs) but there's a group. (laughs) I I love, I haven't seen it in forever, but I love that uh, episode of Always Sunny in Philadelphia where, like, he's got that, he's wearing that Nazi, (laughs) like, costume. Is that the one where they had the painting as well? I don't remember, but I just remember him like showing up at the person's door. I just remember him showing up at the person's door like eating a banana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I don't even remember, what was the deal? He was like shooting a movie or something and he was playing a Nazi or something. Was that it? I, I thought it was like in somebody's attic or something. Oh, that could have been. Oh, maybe remember. that was Maybe that was it. Maybe that was I can't remember. It's like been, some old guy died and then they're like, that, holy shit. That he's got this like a trunk full of Nazi shit. Yeah. <laughs> that could be it. 